It's Chris Ortiz at ExquisiteLab.com. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys the basics on Sony Vegas 10. So basically I'm going to get you guys started on how to edit your video um, with some real quick tips. So first you want to start off by making a new file. You want to copy down these settings that I have right here. HD 720 by 30p. Um, width you want to keep it at 1280. Height you want to keep it at 720. Frame rate you want to have it at 29.970. Stereoscopic 3D mode, you can leave that off. Um, pixel format at 8 bits. Poor resolution rendering quality, you want to leave it at best. Um, motion blur type, um, a Gaussian. Um, the interlace method, none. And then you click OK. Alright, now you guys might be wondering how to get your video on the timeline. The timeline is down here with Z000. This is your timeline, it'll show up right here. So you want to go to Explorer. And you want to navigate through these folders and find your video. I had mine under my videos right here. So I'll just, here goes the video I'm going to use. So I'll just drag and drop. So anyway, this is all drag and drop. So it's simple. It's going to make it so easy. All right, you see my video is not filling up the whole screen right here. I wanted to fill up the whole screen, so I need to rotate it. I recorded this through my iPhone. So it kind of sucks, the quality. But um, if you have better, better, better footage, it'll look better. So to rotate the whole video, you want to select it. And then you want to click track motion right here, this button right here. Let me put this in the screen because I know you guys can't see. All right. So this this um little window will pop up. So you just rotate it make it until it looks straight. If you can see, now my video is good. All right, but now I want it to be wider. So I just click on the corner until it, until it fits. All right, it looks all right right there. It looks good. Okay, so now your video is ready. So that's how you rotate a video real quick. Alright, now I'm going to show you guys how I add video effects to this. Um, if you can see right now, my my, my footage is um, in color. So I'm going to add a... Let me add an effect to it. I'll add um, a grayscale so you guys can see how it works. So all you got to do is drag and drop. You drag and drop into the footage you want, you want it to be in. Alright, so you play around with the settings. Um, you can leave it how it is. I'm gonna leave it how it is. So now if I play the video, you guys can see that it's in black and white now since I added the grayscale effect. All right, that's just something simple. You play around with that, you get better quality and and better um effects. There's a lot of presets you guys can mess around with. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to um how to add text. Um, to add text, you want to make a new a new video track and make sure it's on top of your footage and the audio. So now all you got to do is click insert text media and this window pop up. So I'm going to add um, exquisitelab.com. I'm going to scale it down a little bit so it can fit real nice. About 48. That looks good. And then you can add um, like where do you want it to be on the screen. You mess around with that. You can change the color. I'm gonna leave it at uh, leave it at white. But you guys can mess around with that, and then I'll just add a shadow to it, so you draw a shadow, and that looks alright. So you just exit it. All right. If you see, if you look in the timeline, let me zoom in a little bit. All right. The vi the the t the text will only show up to this part. It'll stop showing up right here. You want it to show up through the whole video. I'll drag it all the way. So let me show you guys an example. Look, it's gonna cut off when it gets to this point right here. All right, it's not. It doesn't show no more. So I want to show throughout the whole video, and I'll just drag it to the end. So now I'll be playing throughout the whole video. The exquisite lab dot com. All right, but I don't want that. Um, say I want it to kind of blend in, like around this point. I want to start blending in, but I don't want it to just. All right, if I play right now. You can see that it just shows up. I want it to kind of blend in. So you click in the corner where it's, until you see fade offset and then you kind of just play with it. And then, so now if you look at it now. Oh, that looks nice. All right, so that's simple. You mess around with that, you'll get better effects, like I said. Um, Let me show you guys. Oh, that's, that's pretty much it. Oh no, um, let me show you guys how to add a transition. 
so this um I don't know how you guys if you guys know a better way to cut to cut the video in pieces, but the way I do it is I select half of it or how like however you wanna how long you wanna cut it, and I just right click on the video, make sure it's on this one on the video, you press copy, and then you press cut. Make sure you copy it before you cut it, and then you just click paste, and there you go. You split the video in half. So now you have it separated. So now I want to add transition. So you go to right here on the tabs, you see transition. Um, I didn't explain that earlier. We have project media. These are these are gonna be all the files that are gonna, that you're using on the video, on your project. Explore is where you find your files. Transitions is where you find your transitions. There's a lot of presets. Video effects and then media generators. That's so if you want to get like a credits at the end, you'll find them right here. But I'm gonna show you guys how to add a transition real quick. So I'm gonna let me choose one. Uh, I'll use a hard flash. So all you gotta do is like throw it in between the middle of where you want it to be a transition, and it'll add by itself. If you want to make it longer, then you you'll see right here. You just there's a transition right here. You it'll, you'll see that it'll change the color like a little blue over the white. So I want it to flash from there, from this point to this point. So now I play the video, you'll see it's gonna, once it gets here, it's gonna flash. There you go, it look kinda like the sun hit it, right? All right, well, that's simple. That's Those are the basics on the program. I'll be making videos on how to render better and HD quality. Um, but for now, that's it. So there you guys go, you guys learned how to make a quick little video, change the color, add effects to it. It doesn't look simple no more. It, it kind of looks, you know, it has some life to it. But that's it. My name is Chris Ortiz um, and from ExquisiteLab.com. Check us out. We'll have more tutorials on other kinds of programs. Thank you.